form what they were doing and they, yeah. and they started to win a lot more. They got a life steal last pick in the end, so it is going to be Blaine. As you can see, Snake King's going to take a lot of damage. Hit him with the cookie. He's already leveled Fire Spirit, so he might just be dead. He's going to pop the very fire, but the last hit comes in from XXS. K is obnoxious in the matchup. The downside is it's a DK. So I don't know if Nine's ever going to get low enough to roam on. Yeah, can you really kill him? 33. That is the and question. And going for it here, and it is going to be 33 who dies first. And Soxa is going to be chased away as well. Nice use of an early teleport by Monet to try and help collect that kill. Pichot is actually going to die as well, though. He gets off the leech seed, a little bit of extra damage on Soxa. Does mean Monet misses out a lot. Which is, their cores are going to outman fight Aster's cores in the late game. Stank King dies again. There's a sign in that big one. XXS leaving the lane, heading towards mid. They try and get the kill on Snaking. Ember Spirit should be able to clean this up with the dive already used. Keeps on being like, ah, oh God, they're going on me again. All right, I guess I'll TP. I mean, this is going to be a very underleveled Phoenix. He is level three as we hit the 10 minute mark. This man needs a tome. Oh, Ooh. struck down by the hand of God. I'm off to the jungle. XWY with this max out slide is doing an okay job slowing down this Beastmaster, but inevitably it's going to be taken. The train protector just cannot save this one. They try and go for it. Oh no. XWY, that was way too greedy. Yeah, I'm going to kick Lifestealer out sooner because I don't think the play options for this mid existed. Reveal of the Blink Dagger on 9. They were looking actually what is going to top. They're going to try and kisses with the uh, pushback of the Hurricane. The creep actually pushes 9 into some more kisses and they will okay. finally bring down the Dragonite. It Kill. The Beast, okay. pretty high value. Honestly, I, I think the Beast shutting him down is going to give you the most tempo on the map right now. The DK probably next. I'm not too worried about Lifestealer. I think he's just going to do his thing. But this is pretty easy kill. Get it off the smoke. And that doesn't mean you're AFK, right? It means you can set up an anchor point. It means he can be somewhere that Aster smoke to. This type of map setup is good for them. Peach what you're looking for. Don't overcommit with four to five. Just get the two or three man kills going and keep it up. And you're gonna have the map pressure you want. Again, bringing in the heroes for the DK, well worth it if they get it. Yeah, Nine does have the life sealer inside of him, but it's gonna be a little party surprise. Pops out, Skeeter can't really do much. I mean, it's a hasted Ember Spirit. You're not catching those guys. And now the Phoenix is gonna be forced to use the, the egg, uh, egg, egg and it's just gonna die right away. But they do manage to get the roar out. The living armor trying to protect him. Oh, oh XWY was so close to getting off a slight and jumping away to a remnant. He does die, but they get Skeeter. King popped over to this side of the map oh, in the first place. because uh, They're certainly gonna go for this tier two and nowhere. whoever else is around it. And that's gonna be Soxa caught by the Gleipnir. And eventually finish off back to the tier two. They're trying to roll. Ooh. Go, little Warpine Raider. Deny that Aegis. Get him. I'm getting it, boys. <laughs> Action in terms of you're losing a hero bottom, you instantly go in. But now, Aster, they don't care. As you said, they're ready to punish here. High ground wards, see it all. Yeah, Nine's they see nine. That's a perfect target to go for first. The kisses are going to light him up. Nine's definitely dead. Nice use of the hurricane there. I'm, he pushes Bisho up the high ground. A spell in an actual game. This is the beast counter. Everybody's talked about it for years. And he's sitting inside the boar right now. They couldn't even finish off that tower. Oh, my Picho, he's going to be grabbed. And quickly killed. They can go back to trying to finish off that tower, and they will be. Line up. Monet's looking top. Going to root him up here. Yeah, XXS is on his way. He's going to start throwing some kisses around. It's going to be hard, though, now to land all of these. Oh, is oh he's going to last the last shot. He got them all. Ooh. Nine just ran kind of in a straight line. And Ooh, they're immediately going to smoke. So if they run into Nine again, this could be really good for Aster. Yes. But the just, rest of the heroes do have BKB, so. Just have to use this overgrowth conservatively. I don't think you want to just jump and lead with it here and give the BKBs a free fight. They're going to run into 33. His Beastmaster glide near it. Immediately BKB goes down. They're going to roar. Not quite. Go five. for the Enchantress. Overgrowth on five, but they're still Here's holding. Nine. They're laying into Life Sealer quite a bit. Oh, Skinner needs a way out of here, but he can't get to anybody who was blocked out by this round. Couldn't get off an Infest, and now they're just going to run down heroes. Where's Nine. your BKB, No BKB. Son. Snaking, teeping out 33. He already used his. Ah, oh, got him with the cookie. Barely there, but wouldn't really matter. Had him either way. And Aster, who needs Roshan? Let's just go straight to the high ground. Mone walking through the top lane to get... Comfortable position for them. Even the shard up on Pichu now. So a little extra stun action coming through. And they're going to find him out of base. Slide chains on Soxa. Nine is going to try and stall up Mone, But they're not really going to fight him. Looks like 33 and the rest of Tundra are just going to try and get out of here. But the two supports are going to get picked off. Snake King's going to fall. 33, who still has his BKB, is going to be forced to use it here. 
So it's still a win for Aster. And XXS, yeah, I think he wants to kiss it. him. Yeah, he oh, does. yeah, he's going for it. 33, like the BKB wears out right in front of the fountain. Couldn't make it fast enough or far enough. Skeeter's still BKB. fighting in the back, though. XXS. Oh, BKB he goes down. He faked him out. He hit him with that overgrowth fake out. He used the BKB. Now caught him. Snaking gets away. Meanwhile, the supernova. Oh, the explosion goes off just in time. Hits him with a ton of fire spirits before diving away. Everybody is low here. And Skeeter, Skeeter, Skeeter is still, is still chasing here. after XXS. No way. Grandma. Well, Monet's like, okay, I'm going to catch up to you, son. Ah, what? Grandma ain't so slow, huh, son? Keep the fight going. I feel like a lot of this tundra damage that was supposed to come online by now is from the Phoenix with the Sunray and maybe a Lifestealer being able to stick in the fight. But it, there's nothing to stick onto if you can't jump with all three of your cores. Yeah. And Astar are just setting these fights up where they're jumping tundra forcing it so that initiation is not so clean. Monet's just frontline. He still has goddamn ages for a minute. Paladin Sword, Satanic. Are you man fighting this Furion? Kisses, Soxa. Ember Spirit's gonna try and run him over the slight. He does manage to catch him really nicely. Spaced by XWY with a nice little triangle formation there. Again, there's just no clean initiation for Tundra. No. Master is not giving it to you. Ag Shard on this Ember as well. These Remnants go in the back and they start disabling the DK blink. Super Skeeters annoying. just start charging forward. He's Here's gonna the pop the fight. rage. He's gonna need an infest eventually here. They're gonna go for Monet and they do manage to finish off that first life. There's he starts backing waiting. up over to XXS. XXS. There He's is. gonna go cookie back in. There goes the overgrowth catching 33. They see him low. They're gonna focus on him. Meanwhile, Skeeter pops out of the infest, but maybe he should have stayed inside because they're gonna chase after him. Ember Spirit gets away from him and Skeeter's just getting kited around. They're gonna leave Knife for last. Finish him off and that is all 5 dead on the side of Tundra. And that is game one taken by Aster. Dominant game by them. Just absolutely perfect for what they want to do from the early to the end. You had a little stall in that very early game when you're trying to gank this DK. But outside of that, not much wrong with that game plan. Take over the map early. Take all three tier ones with the Monet Fury on. Yep. You close them out with your kill squad. I would have liked if, you know, if they were a little greedy on the sidelines, but that's a very minor complaint from a game that otherwise is very clean and 